Hey guys, it is currently 3.06 in the morning on April 20th, but we're going to go ahead and talk about the 19th. On the 19th, I did not accomplish what I wanted to. I did not get around to Letters from a Madman a second time, and I did not work through all of my books at all. Um, primarily af because <laughs> after I woke up, I was dizzy, sounds were echoing in my head pretty badly, um, and I just couldn't focus. I wrote in one book after I woke up, and that was TFL, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, so I started with Letters from Madman, and I edited five chapters there, and that was 4,119 words edited, and 626 words taken in the timeline notes for it. Um, wrote 1,118 in The Gang War, 234 in Thundering Hooves, 542 in TE, and then I headed to bed, and then after I woke up, I wrote a whopping 246 in TFL. And that brought my total for the 19th to 2,766 words, and my total for April so far to 53,950. Nope. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> so, yesterday isn't a bad count, obviously. Um, I feel like people always get mildly upset on, like, Instagram especially, when I say that a day was a slow count for me. But if I'm writing three to 5,000 words a day and I'm having a good streak of that, 2,000 words is a slow day for me. Um, everyone writes at different paces, so if someone writes 200 words a day for a week and then the next day they write 50 words, that's a slow day for them. If somebody writes 10,000 words a day for a week and one day they write 6,000 words, that's a slow day for them. Um, we write at different speeds, we write at different paces, everybody takes things differently. Um, so, know that when I say I'm having a slow day, I'm not dunking on anyone who doesn't write a thousand, two thousand, three thousand words a day. Even I generally don't anymore. I haven't been able to hit counts like that consistently since last year because of my hands. <laughs> um, but yesterday was a slow day. It was slow in the morning before I went to sleep, and it was a million times slower after I woke up. Um, I did my best to balance writing and gaming, because sometimes not staring at this screen all the time helps the dizziness, but that didn't work. Um, I tried taking little tiny naps throughout the day, and that didn't help, because I didn't want to sleep a ton um, and completely throw off my sleep schedule, uh, but that didn't help. I took stuff for the headache. I took stuff for as much of the dizziness as I could, but none of it helped much, so it was just a slow day. Um, and I didn't get through what I wanted to get through. If I was able to get through 10 chapters yesterday in Letters from Madman, I would have been able to finish Edit 3 in about 3 days. Um, which is the main reason I'm bummed, because the sooner I can finish it, the better, but it's so hard to focus on. Um, because initially my plan this year had been to publish book one of the Carver Baxter series, I chose Letters from Madman because I knew it was finished, it just needed a rewrite and the edits. Um, and I rewrote uh, Man of Darkness last year, and that one went very, very well. Things went very well with that one, so I was like, oh, well, it won't be too bad with um, Letters from Madman, obviously, but I was wrong. So, because of how long it took me to get through that, and then how long it took me to get through um, doing other stuff on the side before I came back to edits, and then now we have edit three, um, it's putting a lot of stuff on my plate that I have to do, and a lot of stress on my shoulders, um, because it's supposed to be releasing at the beginning of August, and it's a time crunch sort of thing, but... If I had finished the rewrite edit of Letters from Madman sooner, or if I had known that I wasn't going to be able to do the Carver Baxter series yet, I would have started on that one sooner, which means that I would have had a longer break in between when I did the rewrite edit and when I started editing, because generally I like to leave a pretty big gap there. Um, and because there was not a huge gap, it is making it so hard to focus on edit three here because it's looking at the content again. Um, and the only thing I can think about is how difficult that rewrite edit was and how taxing and stressful and just all around the rewrite edit from hell. I, I, that's all I can think about when I'm editing it. Um, and I'm not even really changing 
words or sentences or anything like that right now. I'm mostly just taking the notes because I know I can't go through and change most of the content right now because I don't have the capacity to do it because my brain doesn't want to at the moment. Um, and when you're your own team, <laughs> that becomes a problem. Um, and because I was planning things to go well, you know, I've announced that it's going to come out in August, that it's still aiming for an August release date. Um, I've even released August 4th a couple times. But it's just very, very hard to force my focus to it no matter what I do, which, you know, has happened before, and it doesn't mean that I hate the book. I do love Letters from a Madman. I love the characters in it. I love that police department. It's the same police department that's featured in Beatings from a Butcher, which is the second book in this series. Each book follows a different set of detectives. Um, and I love that one as well. I just can't <laughs> focus on this one as well as I would like to, specifically because there wasn't a huge break in between the rewrite edit from Hell and edit 3. And it's making it hard to do it. But, hopefully, things go better soon. I hope. Even though at the moment, I am looking at my Google Docs and the Letters from Admin Rewrite Edit is 100% not on my screen. There it is. Okay. I was about to be a little worried. But, the game plan for the 20th, no matter how much it sucks, is to sit down and focus on the Rewrite Edit. I, or, sorry, the uh, third edit. I don't care <laughs> that it's not the next book in my um, my thing here. I'll work around that. If that really starts to eat away at me, I'll go back and write in the others. But for now, I do need to focus the most of my attention on the Letters from Madman Edit 3. So that's the main plan for Day 20. Um, currently... I've edited up through chapter 20, I have up through uh, 35 to still finish, and at least three of those are unfinished chapters, as in chapters that haven't been started at all, and at least one or two of them need another scene or two written at the end. Uh, and I don't know how many of those I'm going to write, and how many of those I'm just going to leave for edit four, but I still need to hop to it. So. If things go really, really well, the plan today is to edit um, many chapters. Uh, there are 15, so I need to edit like 8 today. Yeah, 7.5. So if I can edit 7 to 8 chapters today, I would be golden for finishing it tomorrow, on the 21st. So I'm going to do my best to edit 8 chapters and see what happens. Um, hopefully I'll have good news for you <laughs> tomorrow in the uh, day 20 video. Um, and hopefully I will also finally remember to bring my notebook in here and show you the Rapunzel research <laughs> because that's something that um, is helping keep me sane in between the letters from Madman stuff. So I'm still not writing that book yet, I swear, despite everything else that I'm doing for it, like the research and the book, naming the book title and naming the characters and discovering several plot points and using their story for snippets on Twitter, but I swear I'm not writing it yet. <laughs> um, but it is helping me stay sane while I'm doing the letters from Madman stuff, which is something. So. I guess I will probably do research in between Letters from a Madman to balance things out. I'll probably eventually turn on the PlayStation and game in between as well. Um, but either way, I hope that I have good news to give you for Day 20's video, and then we'll go from there. But that is all that I have for Day 19. I hope your first 19 days have gone well, I hope they continue to go well, and if they haven't gone great so far, I sure hope they get better. But that is all that I have for the 19th of April Camp Nano. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> a like is always appreciated, and if you'd like to stay updated on my writing, my editing, the gaming videos I upload roughly every Friday, currently Camp Nano, or anything that I do on this channel in between, feel free to subscribe. All the links to my author's pages, as well as links to my social media, are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.